Aloha guys, hope everybody's doing well. I just want to do this quick vlog because I've been I've been wanting to do this for like two weeks ever since I got my scuba certification. But two weeks ago I got my scuba certification. And I, I'm, I'm so excited to get this because despite the pandemic, despite everything that's going on, I was able to do something that would excel my travels in a new way. And that is exploration underwater. I don't know if any of you out there have your scuba certification or plan to or want to, but this is kind of a big deal. But uh, I'm just gonna start by saying like why I got into this and what was the cause. Um, scuba diving, honestly, surprisingly, wasn't really on the top of my list of things to do, like my top things to do. It's something maybe I would consider, but it wasn't my top priority. And I know that's shocking, but that's just the truth. But January 2019, last, last year, early last year, my family came to Hawaii and we went to Maui and my mom surprised me with a tour to Molokini Crater to do what's called snuba. Now, what exactly is snuba? It's basically a hybrid of scuba diving and snorkeling. And you are, you're only allowed a depth of, I think like 20, 40 feet, I can't remember, but you're snorkeling, but with a tank that's on the surface. So it allows you some, some diving capabilities. And they take you on the boat, they teach you, you know, the fundamentals of diving, you know, breathing techniques, um, and all these different things that you would do scuba diving, but you're not scuba diving. And ever since, you know, we did that, I just, it, it just, it, it, it brought up my desire to actually want to scuba dive. A whole year and a half passed. It was uh, six months later, close to my birthday. My mom actually gifted me a gift certificate to scuba dive to get my scuba cert. And I've kind of, I've, I've drug it out a little too long, uh, different circumstances. You know, I, you know, I've happened where I just didn't do it. I had planned to do it around March when the coronavirus hit and that got pushed back. And once the local economy here in Hawaii started to open up, I decided that, you know what, screw it, I'm, I'm gonna get this done. I'm not sure when I'll have the opportunity. I had a really bad second outbreak here and uh, I squeezed in the opportunity two weeks ago. Went to the Tuesday class, we, we got fitted with our vest and our, our, our gear. We learned how to set up the, the tanks and all the equipment needed to properly scuba dive. Then later that week, on a Saturday and Sunday, we did closed water with uh, some techniques to learn. We did two open water dives. Next day we did confined water lessons and then two more dives. The first three dives were max of 40 feet with the final dive being 60 feet. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to bring a GoPro. I, I did ask and it's just not logical to do that because you're spending more, most of this time learning. I wish I did bring the GoPro because the dives were beautiful, the, the water was clear and it's just amazing. All I can say, it was amazing. And I'm excited to, to have this. I have the opportunity to go on dives around Oahu. There are plenty of dive companies, plenty of dive sites to have this opportunity. It got super windy so I had to move. I don't know what the outlook of this coronavirus thing is. All I know is that right now is really bad. We're currently dealing with the second outbreak. Uh, yesterday it hit 100 and something, which is the highest number in Hawaii. And you know, Hawaii is not very big, so it's, it's not it's a big deal. But uh, as far as diving goes, you know, there, my, my intentions with my certification now is to get in more experience, do more dives across the islands. Um, there, you know, Oahu has some of the best dive sites in the world. It's just an, it's just amazing to be able to live here and have the opportunity to do this. It's an expensive hobby, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, but you know, it's so worth it. It's, you know, from what I experienced in my, my classes, it's so worth it. Um, once I get in more dives, I like to get my advanced certification, which will allow me to go deeper than what I can now. I think 60 feet is the max now, but the advanced, it's much, much deeper. There is one dive site on Oahu I like to do, I get to explore a dive bomber from the Second World War. And of course, you know, for my extensive travels, there are so many dive sites around the world that I want to experience. Uh, you know, like in Thailand, you know, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. But most of all, if you're familiar with Chuk, Chuk Lagoon or Chuk, 
in the Federated States of Micronesia, it's one of like one of the most incredible dive sites in the world as there's like basically a graveyard of ships and planes from the Second World War. And uh, I've always thought it's like if I had my dive certification, that would be like the number one place I would want to dive. And, as, and because I'm an active diver now, that is officially jumped on my list. So if you're an experienced diver, you have your dive certification, or you're an avid diver, please you know comment down below any suggestions, feedback, insight you have um, as a diver from you to me. Um, if you're you know wanting to get your certification at some point if you have any questions you know want, want to share some some you know feedback or anything like that feel free to comment below too i'm really excited to um get to this point to be able to do something new in my travels whether it's here or abroad and uh yeah so that's that's concluding the short video aloha